We are learning new details tonight about suspected directed energy microwave attacks targeting CIA officers and top national security officials. We first started hearing about them, and we told you about them here on Special Report in 2016, shortly after then-President Obama opened the embassy in Havana, Cuba. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon has the latest tonight about a suspected attack here at home. U.S. officials say there are now 130 suspected victims, mostly CIA operatives and U.S. diplomats, being treated for brain injuries, debilitating headaches and vertigo, the targets they believe of a directed energy microwave weapon. There's a mysterious direct energy weapon that is being used, and it is causing, in some cases, permanent traumatic brain injury. New indications suggest the incidents go as far back as 1996. Two individuals working on the NSC believe they were targeted in 2019 and in 2020, just after the election. One was near the White House and one was walking her dog. The Russians have been working on mobile microwave weapons for years. We have to get more information and we got to tell the public what's going on. The U.S. Air Force and tech firm Epirus have developed a mobile high energy microwave weapon to bring down drones. Epirus is also working on a miniature variant of the weapon that can be easily transported on a pickup truck. This is the type of technology that might be targeting American diplomats. Russia certainly has the means and the motive to conduct these attacks. I mean, there's some, some evidence out there that certainly points to Vladimir Putin, the KGB operative in the Kremlin, being responsible. The only victim so far to come forward, former CIA head of the Europe desk, Mark Polymeropoulos, was targeted while visiting Moscow four years ago and four to retire. It's pretty insidious because it also doesn't leave any kind of, you know, open open scars or, or, or wounds. Mark lobbied for treatment at Walter Reed's National Center for the Intrepid. As part of his therapy, he painted this mask of a Superman cape with a broken CIA shield with an arrow through it to symbolize the moral injury he felt when at first he was not believed by the CIA. The CIA is now taking the issue seriously, but without the actual weapon, U.S. officials don't know who to blame and how to stop these alleged attacks. Brett? Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you. We'll continue to follow this one.